creation of the so-called non-profits that jump on the side of this business model, i.e. all those people who stood behind Mike Duggan. Right, okay. right, 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 right. But, 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 but my point is, we have so-called rich black folks in Detroit and across the and across the nation, but we but who is the black equivalent to Dan Gilbert? Who is the black equivalent to Roger Kensky? Who is the black equivalent to the where, who? What black family is equivalent to the Illich family? I mean, you got kids growing up wanting to be the Huxtables, but they don't want to be the Illich. And I'm saying. Number one, if we're going to get in the game, we have to create people who think like us, act like us, and see themselves as a part of us who are actually on that level in the, in the game. And then and then, for the, and then, for the lower level folks, like to say a guy like Tony Sanders, who is a, is, a, is a smart, younger black dude, went to cast, all that, but he's not really a representative spokesperson or fighter for black people, right? I mean, he's not that. Right. So so even those smaller developers that get pieces of the white pie, they still not from they still not for or they're not part of us. Right. And they're not they're not going to do anything radical in depressed communities either. And then you got the lazy politicians and, and you got the and you got the and you got the mayor and you got all of these people conspiring to send resources uh, to places that that. Even if they need them, they have people in them who can get their own resources. That's my point. Dan Gilbert can't finance his own building. He don't need the people to finance the building. But, but the people have to believe that and understand that. And that goes back to that black business class that nobody ever had. Not just that. Black folks need to stop believing in black folks. It's not like there haven't been chicken littles running all over trying to tell them this was going to happen. But they'd rather believe the white Jesus. But I, 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 I agree. I agree. But I think, I think part of it is is that black people just have low self-esteem. We just don't really, we just, we just really do not, we got low self-esteem and, and we hate success. Like, it's like, we hate success. Like, 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 don't even try to be successful. Like, it's like people hate it. But, you know, that's a longer psychological conversation right now, though. That is the conversation. Well, no. if, that's the con- if that's the conversation, then then I don't know what we're going to do because we ain't been able to figure out the psychology of how to fix black folks' psychology for 400 years. We're, we're going to have to have it along with everything else you're having because there are people saying this. They see this. Listen, we got five sports teams in this city. If five sports teams saved us, why don't Livonia or West Bluefield have one? We got three casinos. They promise us that same unicorn all the time, David. It's going to save us. But is it saving us? All we do is com- continue to support rich white people. Well, look, I, I, I mean, I, I'm not, I, I think you're right. I mean, because look, I'm the guy that got uh, sisters eavesdropping on meetings I'm in, and, 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 and we buying stores, and they call it in the radio shows uh, doing misinformation campaign. I mean, I'm the guy that, that, that has gotten so, I'm the guy that's gotten so much hate in the last two days because we actually did what we said we was gonna do, right? But don't, but don't nobody, but don't nobody hate Dan Gilbert. So I'm just saying, I'm with you. I'm with you on that, right? Right? And and and, and so like the, the friction of being black and trying to do stuff, man, when is crazy when you combine white supremacy and black hateration. Now I'm with you, but if we gotta wait for black folk to wake up to do anything, well then I might as well drink the hemlock now. Well, well, you don't have to wait on black folks. You you need to be the example for black folks. I ain't, I ain't going to exactly. We still got to have that, that, we still got to have the, you love NASA. Last time, last time black folk had an example, he died on the cross and they screamed, crucify him. Brenda, thanks for calling. I appreciate the call. Dr. King got assassinated. He's that 50 years ago. That's your example. But I'm just saying, this is about... People understand it, that if if money is going somewhere, it's going there because somebody decided to send it there. 
That's what this is about. This isn't about, because see, we think like if a building's going up, oh, my man was real, must be real smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this is what we think. We think that, oh, man, look at these roads. Oh, man, this community must be full of really, really good people. Nah, man. Somebody sent money to fix those roads, man. And if they smart, they was just smart enough to make sure they got their roads fixed. Remember that sinkhole happened out in Macomb, right? Kind of while the Flint water crisis was going on, and Candace Miller and them were there the next day, and it was trucks. It was trucks and, 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 and major heavy equipment there the next day. And they were like, we're going we're gonna to fix this in six weeks, right? 